welcome to a &E TV. Today we're joined for morning coffee by Heidi Armstrong, founder of Wear That. Good morning, Heidi. Hi, good morning. So to kick things off, tell us what's your morning routine? So my usual morning routine is I wake at five, um, I check WhatsApp, Instagram, and um, my emails. Then I usually try to do 10 minutes of meditation just to set the tone for the day mm -hmm. um, before I go out for a run because I'm usually training for some crazy ultra marathon. Oh, yeah. um, and then I come back, I usually start work about nine, but I mean, that's on a perfect day. And I definitely have not perfect days where <laughs> I could just sleep in and then just go to work. Yeah. And tell us a bit about where that and how your background has inspired the platform. So I come from a, a buying and product development background. I started in Australia and I've worked um, from Australia to China, London, Paris, uh, Italy, and of course the Middle East. And I noticed that there's always the same issue with women and that was, I don't know what to wear. I don't know what looks mm -hmm. good on me. Um, so that's why I created Wear That to help solve this problem. Okay, great. And what do you hope to achieve from, from Wear That? So I want to build a platform for women that first and foremost makes them feel amazing. So not only look amazing, but feel amazing because that's where the confidence comes from. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course, I want to do something small and have the biggest online styling platform in the world. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, I just think I'm just going to go for it, but that's what I'm hoping to achieve. Okay, amazing. And what are the biggest challenges that you face? Um, so, coming from a fashion buying background, I had a very structured job, I had a team, and now I've gone to a startup, which is now your everything. Mm. So, I'm the CEO, I'm the delivery boy, <laughs> I'm the accountant, whereas before, um, all these functions were taken care of. So, whilst I'm learning a lot, you have to put on different hats, um, and that's probably been the biggest challenge in adapting. Okay. And so far, what would you say has been your biggest achievement? In my career, um, I think obviously launching where that has been so exciting <laughs> and rewarding and different, but all the things I've worked on in my career, the last 10 years I've worked as a, a fashion buyer have led me to this. So I identified trends, I worked with different women, I understood um, their needs and their wants, which has again, brought me to where I am now. Okay. And do you have a professional motto that you live by? It's a new motto, actually. So I am still trying to tell myself every day that it's just enjoy the process okay. because it passes by so quickly and you always look back in hindsight and you think, oh, yeah, it happened for a mm. reason, but I want to be a bit more mindful of the situations I'm in right now. Okay, and what is there that you still want to achieve? So, uh, so much. We haven't even scratched the surface with where that at the minute. We're still very much in phase one. Um, we're testing new things every day. What it is today, it won't be like that in two mm. weeks, in two months. Um, literally, the business is growing so quickly that it's just developing and it's so exciting just to be part of it and see okay. how it's evolving. And is there a person or a thing that particularly inspires you? So I could sit here and say, you know, my family and friends, <laughs> but that's um, <laughs> probably the political answer. But what I really want to say is I just love other startups. Um, I love hearing their miseries. Mm -hmm. I love hearing uh, their achievements and things that I can adapt to my business and take their learnings and make my business better. Um, I just love startups because everyone's so honest about the journey that you mm. have to go through. Can you complete the sentence for me? I'm happy when? Uh, I'm in the mountains with my husband and my friends. We run these crazy ultra marathons oh. and it's just so good to go out there for 10 hours. You have no phone um, and it's just so good to, to get away from it all. Okay, and what do you say no to? <laughs> meat. I don't eat meat. <laughs> okay. And um, professionally, I say no to the word I can't because okay. I really don't believe you can't. There's always a solution to something. You just have to think outside the box. Okay. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? Uh, just to chill. It will all be okay because I think we stress so much. But even now, like if I look back six months, I think, oh gosh, you know, it's just, I think, like I said before, you need to be a little bit more in the moment, um, enjoy the, the highs, enjoy the lows, um, and just relax and go with it. And what would you tell yourself 10 years from now? Just to enjoy the process. 
Okay. And how about your style? How would you describe your style in one word? Eclectic. Okay. And is there a book that you're reading at the moment? I'm listening to um, Phil Knight, Shoe Dog, which is okay. amazing. But I'm really obsessed with this podcast called My Favourite Murder, which is very random. But it's just <laughs> a very lighthearted way to relax if you don't want to listen to business things or yeah. anything too serious. Final question. How do you want the world to remember you? Well, I figured that I won't be around, so I don't care what they say about me. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining us, Heidi. Thank it's been you. a pleasure having you. Thank you.